lights everywhere. Got some nice homegrown tomatoes from the fams. Got my green juice ready to go, my favorite kind again, so happy about that. Put some very veggie, low sodium in the sauce that we're making. So I just went ahead and chopped up some fresh tomatoes in the tomato juice, and then I also had some leftover organic strained tomatoes. And I also have my sweet potatoes going. What I'm doing here is getting some prep going as well at the same time since I'm in the kitchen and you don't have to wait on the pasta and everything anyways. Then I can just do some prep, get some snacks cut up, some salads cut up, and eat some salad that's already made needs to be eaten, and then hopefully this will work. I'm not exactly sure. It may take a while. This is actually a slow cooker. And the rice cooker still has rice in it, so that's why I didn't use that. I would have just put that in there. What I've got in here is just sweet potatoes, and there's a little bit of water at the bottom, so as not to leach all the minerals out, I just want to, you know, and I'll drink the water if I have to, but usually there's not very much left. Um, it's super sweet at the end of that. So yeah, just put this on top so I could do a little bit more at once. And again, I may not even get these done tonight, um, but if I have to just put these in the fridge, like uncooked, and then finish them tomorrow, that's gonna be fine. What I've really been just craving is white rice and sweet potatoes. It's like the cleanest of clean meals, but it's so satisfying. And I can make a ton of sauce. In fact, that's gonna be the really the smart thing to do is just make a bunch of sauce and just keep it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more in and just be as efficient as I possibly can. Love it. All right, I put a little milk in it to kind of just, yeah, I just put some milk in it so the pasta wouldn't stick together. So just finishing cleaning up the kitchen, getting ready to get head upstairs and close it off for the night. It's only seven o'clock, but daylight savings time, you know. But like I said, I got these going overnight and I'm really, really excited about my new kitchen. It's just functioning so much better since I did, you know, a bunch of cleaning out and stuff. And I really like it. I really like my new gadgets and I'm so excited to get a juicer for Christmas. Yay. So just kind of threw this together here. And I'm just gonna go to class, but I wanted to show you, I've got everything, it's not in the right order that I really am gonna leave it in. I'm gonna change it up to go like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Actually, no, this is only Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. White's Friday and light blue's Friday. I don't have a lot of Thursday, I guess. Just really that. No. So anyway, I've got all of these and I'm gonna change them because I do like the KonMari way of stacking them upright so that you can see them. I think that's really helpful. Even if you have like a clear thing, I always thought, oh, well I can just see it right here. But it is easier just to do this. It's faster. You get more of a selection of your stuff um, to see what you really wanna wear. So. I'm definitely going to be switching everything to that and I just wanted to let you know because people were asking me about that like did you try out the method did you like it and honestly I'm reluctant to change I don't change things that easy I you know like I don't want to sit there and learn a new way you know to fold like that's just to me is too much like what I'm doing with these is just folding in the same basic way that I always do Except for usually sometimes I would leave it like this, just flat like that, and just have that be my folded piece. But I just fold it once more and just do the same thing. And that way I don't have to spend time like relearning how to fold and like just all the awkward moments of doing it in a new way. Like I want to do it my way, it's fast, it's what I know, it's easy. So yeah, it was a good compromise for me and I really recommend it to anybody else who's feeling the same way. Like they don't want to take the time to learn how to fold something new. Just do what you're doing, fold it over again, put it in there, and uh, yeah, see what you think. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready to go to school, and I'll talk to you guys later.